We're going to go over the setup of the Rio Link doorbell today. I'm using the PoE one, not the Wi Fi one, so I'm using power directly from an Ethernet cable. This cable basically is connected to a PoE switch, so it should power this on right away. We're gonna take a look at the software, we're gonna see how it works. We will also show a installation video of this actually going in onto a building, but for now, we're gonna go over the software before we go into the installation because it is the winter and it's a little hard to run ethernet cable in the cold. But we can do this inside and we can definitely check it out and see what all the software is all about and how it operates and how it works. So the real link uh, video doorbell comes with the doorbell itself and a chime. The chime is basically a device that you plug in onto the wall. Instead of just a doorbell, it'll detect if somebody knocks on the door instead. It'll also ring if somebody hits the doorbell, it'll also ring off. Right now we're gonna go over the camera and then we'll go over the um, actual chime in a few minutes. We'll have to show that, that setup. I'm gonna plug in the power, which is the one labeled PoE on the back. There's also a micro SD card. We're not gonna be recording right now. We're just gonna do it for a quick setup. But if you would want to record, you can slip a micro SD card in there and it will record directly to the device. I'm gonna plug this in, it's gonna start up. And on the computer, you're gonna see that the doorbell should turn on and it should show up in a minute. It comes up and uninitialized as camera one. So at this point, we're ready to initialize this camera, so we, which is basically the doorbell. It's gonna ask you to create a password because the device is brand new. So at this point, we're gonna create a quick password. Let me move this over a little. By the way, I downloaded the Real Link software from the website. It is just the most current version for Windows, so that's what I'm using. That version is 8.8.2. It was updated just recently. So let's put a password in. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it in here twice. Can't believe that's marked as strong because that's a really bad password. Moving on, now you're gonna give it a name, and obviously it's already come online, by the way, if you notice my hand here moving. So name, uh, we're going to call it, hold on one second, let me mute this, there we go. Unfortunately, it, keeps, it actually has audio too, so this is actually playing through it. So we're gonna call this uh, front door, because that's where most of the time these things are installed. So we hit finish. Okay, now it wants to set up the chime. I'm gonna plug the chime to a socket right now, so we're gonna go next. It says press the doorbell button. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna press the doorbell button. And there it goes, it is chiming. And it's just confirming, did I hear a sound? Which I did, I heard a sound from the chime, so it's all synced up. It tells me which type of method am I gonna be using. In my case, I'm gonna be using power over ethernet, but if you're using doorbell wiring, you can select that, or you can use a power adapter. We're gonna choose power over ethernet because that's what we're doing, but if you're using any of the other two, you would just select them. The power adapter is not that expensive. Um, it's pretty cheap, so if you wanna use that, you can. So I'm gonna do that. It's just gonna give me a wiring diagram. Thank you. Not needed. Okay, and you see already, this is working. And it's a preview of my office here from behind. Hi. And the doorbell's already working. But when you do push the doorbell, it does, well, it's really loud. It does chime off. If you have the app installed, you'll actually be able to get a notification on your app as long as your connection for the doorbell is connected to some sort of MVR or you can even use their cloud service. The offline options is what I'm using because I have an MVR. It records directly to the MVR as well as to the micro SD card that I'm gonna be putting in place. But when you push the button, it does ring, it does go off with the chime. Yeah, this is a pretty wide view, uh, recording basically from the Rio Link camera. As you can see here, it's a little bit of a delay in comparison to what I'm actually saying. Let me also flip myself back on over here so we can give a comparison to like how slow this is for a, for a response. Now I'm on a, I'm on clear. Standard is a little bit better with the speed. Fluent is not bad either. It's a little bit, quicker. There's, what I really like about this is that there's also quick replies, which I kind of find interesting. So if you want to say like, I'm sorry, I think you've knocked on the wrong door. 
You know, or... Hi, we'll be right there. Please wait a moment. Hi, please leave the package at the door. We'll get it later. All of these options are also on the app, so you can do it either way. There's also a microphone that you can directly talk to somebody. I don't have a microphone set up on my computer, but on the app, you could just click talk and it'll just go right through. With the real link video doorbell, you have a few options. You have a push button, you have you know motion detection, you have knock detection. So if somebody knocks on the door, it'll also still ring no matter what. You have knock detection, but it also has motion detection. So the light lights up once somebody is going past it. You don't need to charge this because it runs off a of PoE. So it's power over ethernet. That's how I'm powering it right now with an ethernet cable going into a PoE switch. It has very wide, a wide view, but you could all, it also comes with a little brick piece that will allow you to turn it and allow you to adjust it uh, according to your building. Better than the ring doorbell for the fact that you could also leave it offline. You don't have to actually have an online subscription for it to work. You can have it record through the micro USD card on the back, which you could just throw a piece, you know, one card in there and record off of that. Or you could use an NVR. Real Link has a bunch of NVRs available if you want to have a central recording, if you have a bunch more of the security cameras. This also integrates with their other cameras. Using this with other cameras, you can use one system instead of having multiple apps on your phone, you can have one app on your phone that does it all, that, re that shows you all the cameras at once. Also with Real Link, you get people and person detection as well as vehicle detection. They're also working on pet detection. I think pet detection is, as of this recording has been started and it records certain certain types of pets like dogs and cats. It doesn't detect anything beyond that right now, but that's, you know, kind of the AI that's built into it. And I say AI, but it really is an AI. It's it's literally just reading back what's on there and, and then guessing at what it is. It also is all on this device. So you don't have to upload your stuff to the cloud to get this feature to work. You won't, you could use this feature directly on the NVR. You could use the feature directly on the app. You do not need to have it online. If you want to use their cloud service, they do offer a cloud service. You don't have to use their cloud service is the point. I've already tested this with my current router just to see if anything else kind of like jumps out. If you disable all of the cloud features, which usually they come standard if you want to enable the cloud features, but you could disable the cloud features and if you do disable it, it never reaches out to the internet. It will just continuously use internal communication only or communication directly with your NVR, which you can also then set up your NVR to be accessible from outside if you want. You don't have to do that. Again, you can leave this as a full closed loop, which is really good. So it's not like a ring doorbell where a ring doorbell, you require a subscription and a bunch of other stuff for it to work. This is directly local to your entire network. You really can't beat it. Uh, price wise, this one that I'm holding right now is the Rio Link Power Over Ethernet Edition, which is $89.99. So it's only $90 under hundred bucks. It works great. You know, you get a decent video, has a really loud chime, comes with the chime also for that price. And it also comes with uh, some of the cabling and some other stuff. Check out our open box video for actually what's in the box. They also make a version that is Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi version still requires power. So you're gonna need either your doorbell power or you're gonna have to buy the accessory AC adapter to give it power. Under $100 is $99.99 and it also comes with the Chime, a good price again for a doorbell that you do not need a service for. The only negative point is that this doesn't have a built-in battery. Battery operated doorbells and their pain because you got to keep recharging them every few months. And then if you're anywhere in a cold climate, the battery never seems to last the whole month or two or months that you're supposed to be, you know, using the doorbell. I'm glad to see that this is just hardwired. It's just a much better solution. And you also get 24 seven recording with it set for high recording. You can set for medium recording. There's a lot of options. You could set it for motion alerts. You could also set it for people alerts or for car alerts. So like, let's say your front door is facing your driveway or something, or maybe the street and you want to know if someone pulled up in front of your house, you could have it detect that. So there are a lot of options here that you get for under a hundred bucks. All right, that's it for the review of the Rio link for right now. We will have another video later on about the Rio link actually seeing an action on an actual house. 
but again, it's kind of a little cold out for running a, an ethernet cable to the front part of the house. Until then, um, please like, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.